on, everyone? Sam here with Lady Sports Cards. Welcome back to another episode of No Method All Madness. Finally back. Got three weeks worth of orders from PWCC slash Fanatics Collect. Um, so we'll get right into it. Starting off, we've got a, I believe it's 2001 Cops Archives Greg Nettles on the uh, 1996 reprint auto. Really like that one too, Greg Nettles. Uh, played for the Yankees for a little bit. Also uh, is the owner of one of the most famous error cards of all time, where instead of Greg, they put Craig on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Needed a Nettles card in my collection, so happy with that one. Next up, this one's kind of funny. It's a 2008 Topps uh, McDonald's All-American Tyreek Evans rookie auto, who coming in the league was super electric in Sacramento, had that super memorable buzzer beater, uh, half-court buzzer beater, won rookie of the year as well and uh, ended up getting banned from the league. So, really full circle on Tyreek Evans. Next up, we've got a 24, I believe it's 24, yep, Archives 6 Series Retired Edition on a 2011 Bowman, Andre Ethier. Somebody I really enjoyed watching when I was younger for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Always thought he was super underrated, wasn't somebody who was talked about a whole lot, but always was a really big fan. Funny story, my dad and I did like a, our own fantasy baseball league. 15 years ago, probably, and I always remember Andre Ethier when I was starting out. So, always had a special spot for him. Next up, this one is cool. Uh, this is a 2001 Fleer Authority, number two, 2001 Travis Hafner rookie. EGS 9, as a member of the Texas Rangers. Uh, I'm sure many of you remember him mostly in Cleveland. He was uh, pretty solid in Cleveland, I would say. And uh, also played for the Yankees. Always a big fan of Hafner, could hit bombs or strike out, basically one of the other. This one might be one of my favorite ones of the entire order. This is a 2001 Topps Traded, number two 2001, Gold Border Barry Bonds, also going to be a BGS 9. Uh, always fun, pick up Bonds stuff, does not have a ton of licensed uh, cards out there at this point in time, especially not in the last 15 years, basically since he retired, so always do like picking up unique Bonds pieces when I can find them for three. Uh, this one's awesome. 2000 Topps Chrome Refractor, PSA 8, Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre. Some of the craziest statistics in the history of the game. Uh, super, super low strikeout rate. If you look at, just Google crazy Tony Gwynn stats, and there are so many that are just absolutely mind-blowing. Faced Maddox, Glavin, and Smoltz, I think Randy Johnson and Pedro, a total of like 700 times and struck out five in the 1990s, some crazy stat like that. It's absolutely insane. The guy can hit the ball, rarely struck out, and is an absolute legend in San Diego. So, that's the piece of uh, Going on to something a little bit newer. This is going to be 23 Topps Chrome Update Baseball PSA 8 to Casey Spitz on the green. Rookie autograph. Not too much to say about that. I like Casey Schmidt's game. Uh, just pick that up. Who knows what's going to happen. This one, this one's funny. 2007 Bowman Chrome, uh, number to 50, PSA 9 Desmond Jennings, the Tampa Bay Devil Ray, was supposed to be an absolute stud. Signed a huge contract with the Cubs and just never truly panned out. But yeah, Desmond Jennings, Desmond Jennings. Name many forget. This one's cool. One of my favorite series, uh, one of my favorite years of all time is Topps. 2005, this is going to be League Leaders and Hits. Uh, Ichiro, Michael Young, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr., PSA 10. Have another one of these similar in the, uh, coming up later. What I like about this one, too, is it has a bunch of, uh, it has the top 10 in the AL hits on the back. So Michael Young, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., Miguel Tejada is an Oriole, Mark Kotze, Johnny Damon, Derek Jeter, Melvin Mora, Carl Crawford, and... Orioles legend, Javi Lopez. So I thought this one was cool. It's a set that I really like. Very happy to add that to my collection. Uh, I got 22 Bowman's Best. Quite possibly my favorite prospect in baseball right now. PSA 9, Gold Lava, number 75, Christian Vaccaro of the Washington Nationals. The Nationals are loaded with farm talent, and I think is gonna be one of the faces when he finally comes up with him, House, Wood, uh, and everybody else that they have. Cruz, obviously, has got Rob Cruz. All of them come up from the Miners, I think that the Nationals are going to be a force, and I am a very, very high on here. Next up, another funny one. PSA 10, uh, Refractor, Auto to 500. It's going to be Nomar Mazzara. Where were you when Nomar Mazzara was hitting 500-foot home runs? Another guy, very similar to Travis Hafner, would either hit a ball to the moon or he would strike out. He had like a 40% K rate. Uh, That's why he never lasted a whole lot. 
unfortunately, but my god, when he made contact with the ball, it just did not come down. So, just a fun one from when I was younger, like a guy who had that very short, short-lived but super hot prime, similar to like an Aristides Pino, uh, Nomar Mazar. Next up, we've got 20, uh, 2008 Bowman Chrome Baseball, PSA 10, Lonnie Chisenhall on the True Blue Auto, on the old uh, PSA slab. Uh, really the ultimate utility guy. You can plug that guy in on like, any position on the field and he would uh, field the ball cleanly. So, like, always like Lonnie Chisenhall. Not the craziest name of all time, but very solid in the league. Uh, next up, we've got a 2005 Pops uh, Gold Alex Rodriguez, number 2, 2005. Again, like I said, one of my favorite sets of all time is 05 Pops. So, had to pick up a Yankee, a very good Yankee, World Series champion Yankee, Rich Layton's favorite player Yankee, Alex Rodriguez. So, very happy to have that one in the collection. Uh, I would say favorite card of the order, for sure. 2006 Bowman Chrome, PSA 10, number 50 of 50 gold, Dontrell Willis, the D train. The signature leg kick. Signature hat to the side when he was pitching. Loved Dontrell Willis. And I think he calls the games from Milwaukee now, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong on what team it is, but um, he is in the hoop. So it's uh, Another really cool card. I enjoy this one. 2001 Upper Deck uh, 70s, or uh, Upper Deck Decade 70s, Jim Cott on the Game News Jersey Auto. Another guy you forget about is a Hall of Famer. Made the Hall of Fame on the Veterans Committee, but uh, as a White Sox in this one, always like adding legends like that, especially on card, especially game use jersey. I think that was a really fun pickup, so very excited about the Jim Cott as well. And then last one here, another one of these. This one's 2004. Uh, tops AL RBI leaders. That is going to have Carlos Delgado, Alex Rodriguez, and Brett Boone on the front. And then similar to the hit leaders we have on the back, how about Vernon Wells? Vernon Wells as a Blue Jay. We've got Garrett Anderson. Garrett Anderson as a uh, Angel. Carlos Lee as a Chicago White Sox. Rafael Palmeiro, of course, as a Ranger. Giambi as a Yankee. Aubrey Huff as a Ray. And then Godzilla for Deku Matsui as well. So that is the last one of the order. Hope you guys enjoyed it as always. Like I said, we had like three, three weeks worth of orders here. So very excited to have all these back, all these in the collection. Um, We've got Fanatics Fest coming up soon, and uh, I've got a couple more orders in the mail of some really exciting cards, so definitely be showing those off. But thank you all again, and we'll see you next time.